So here we are going to learn about the laws of inheritance proposed by Mendel based on his observation on monohybrid crosses Mendel proposed two general laws to consolidate his understanding of inheritance and monohybrid crosses and the last law was based on the dihybrid crosses which was done after the monohybrid cross so the first law was law of dominance and the second law was law of segregation law of dominance this law states that in a heterozygous condition the allele whose characters are expressed over the other allele is called the dominant allele and the characters of this dominant allele are called dominant characters the characters that appear in the f1 generation are called as dominant characters the recessive characters appear in the f2 generation so we know that what is a heterozygous condition it refers to that condition in which the alleles of a single gene the two different allele of a single gene present on a different loci so in a heterozygous condition the allele whose characters are expressed heterozygous condition mein jis allele ke character express ho jate hain वो कैरेक्टर होता है डोमिनेंट कैरेक्टर या वो एलील होता है डोमिनेंट एलील एंड दी अदर एलील रेफर्स टू दी रेसिसिव एलील बिकॉज इट इज अनेबल टू एक्सप्रेस इट्स कैरेक्टर इन दी प्रेजेंस ऑफ डोमिनेंट कैरेक्टर एंड वी नो दैट इन एफ वन जनरेशन ओनली वन कैरेक्टर इज एक्सप्रेस्ड एंड दैट कैरेक्टर इज अ डोमिनेंट कैरेक्टर At that time when Mendel was performing his experiment on monohybrid cross the word gene was not known so he basically says the word factor instead of genes and those factors are now called as genes let us now learn this law with the help of an example now here we can see that this is the monohybrid cross done by the mendel and here the contrasting character is the stem height in the parental generation the one plant is tall whereas the another plant is dwarf but in the f1 generation we got capital t small t which is in a heterozygous condition but still there was only one character which was expressed in f1 generation while the another character which was the dwarf character that was unable to express itself in the f1 generation and when the plant of f1 generation was self pollinated then the plant of f2 generation produced by the self pollination of f1 generation the plants were able to express both of the character in the ratio of 3 is to 1 in which the three of the plant were heterozygous dominant whereas the last plant was the homozygous recessive so we can conclude that in a heterozygous condition the character that is able to express itself is the dominant character and the character which is suppressed by the presence of the another character is the recessive character like in a heterozygous condition of capital t small t the plant was tall law of segregation this law is also known as law of purity of gametes this law states that when two traits come together in one hybrid pair the two characters do not mix with each other and are independent of each other Each gamete receives one of the two alleles during meiosis of the chromosomes. Now we know that during the formation of a gamete in plants, the meiosis occurs. So during the meiosis, when the gamete receives the two alleles from one allele from mother and the another allele from the father, then those two allele do not mix up with each other or do not blend with each other during the formation of a gamete each gamete receives one of the two alleles right so this law basically states that during the formation of a gamete there there is no blending 
and both the characters are independent of each other and because during the formation of a gamete the gamete will either receive any one of the allele from both of the parents that's the reason why this law is known as the purity of gametes because the gametes are pure both of the alleles of the parent are not mixed with each other so these both were the laws of mendel proposed after the monohybrid crosses and the last law which was the law of independent assortment that law was based on the dihybrid cross 